Evening. Our big story tonight, a Supreme Court decision today means a Trump era immigration policy is back in place. That policy keeps anyone seeking asylum at the southern border to remain in Mexico during their court proceedings. Team 12's Adriana Loya explains what this means and how it impacts Arizona. People arriving at the U.S. border have the right to seek asylum. It's international law. But after a Supreme Court decision, migrants will have to make their request and wait in Mexico once again. That rate of how many people never get their full day in court, never even can get to hear their case, um, is going to increase. Chelsea Sacho is an attorney working with asylum seekers in Nogales, Sonora for the Florence Project's Border Action Team. She says the Migration Protection Protocols, also known as MPP or Remain in Mexico Policy, which was initially implemented by the Trump administration in 2019 and later terminated by the Biden administration, puts migrant families at risk. This return of the Remain in Mexico policy subjects our clients to kidnapping, sexual abuse, uh, increased risk of lack of food and shelter, increased risk of extortion and other harms. On Monday, the Supreme Court said the Biden administration likely violated federal law in trying to end MPP program. But migrant advocates say the program in itself is unconstitutional. The fear is obviously that this is only going to get worse. Bernardo Rafael Cruz is an attorney at the ACLU in Texas. He is part of the legal team that challenged the program when it was initially implemented. And avenue the organization is looking at once again. They really are an attempt to effectively get rid of asylum in its totality because like I said if you're not allowing people to really come into this country as they are allowed to under the law then what you're, you're really uh, stopping them from requesting this right. It's still unclear how the program will be instated. No direct instruction was ordered or given as part of the SCOTUS ruling. How big of an effect was MPP here in Arizona and Arizona's borders? MPP was carried out along the border gradually over the course of 2019. It arrived to Arizona area in about October, November 2019. Immigrant advocates say the policy had lasting effects citing one family they say were victims of multiple crimes, including kidnapping, as they await their asylum claim. Unfortunately, while all that happened to one family, it is not unheard of for many of those things to happen to so many of my clients and other asylum seekers through policies like these. Adriana Loya, 12 News.